What's going on, YouTube? Hey, hey, Ron here. We are back in the Riaijo, Riaijo, and I actually already have a video, had a video in this boat, but of course, uh, with just the way everything's been going lately, my internet uh, decided to make it look like um, the Matrix code, you know, from the, the Matrix where it like runs down the screen. So yeah. Uh, but we're gonna get another good game. That game was like 90k, so hopefully we can we can match that in some capacity. But uh, as you guys just saw, we went ahead and dropped two of our planes uh, because, especially in these opening, uh, you know, runs when all the ships are kind of grouped up, you're not really going to be getting the best um, drops in terms of you know other ships. Meaning, with all the AA that they they uh, they stack at you, you're you're going to be hurt. As you can see, our planes are already taking some damage. Let's go and drop on a non-AI player here. Give you guys a taste of what's going to be, be coming in the next... Uh, probably the next update. It should land right on the bow. We'll watch them. Nice. Let's go ahead and load some dive bombers, too. And the reason we send those two planes back is because... You, um... Like we said, you get an extra kind of set working on the deck there, so now we have seven torpedo bombers uh, instead of, like, four or five. We're going to do the same with the, the dive bombers. So that way we got two going back to the ship. And uh, only we'll only lose a max of four if we do this. Uh, this guy's gonna let his flood go. Oh, it might be another high damage game. Gonna have to drop right there. We're gonna overshoot this ship. Hopefully, we can get a nice. Okay, another bomb hit, but. Does anyone wanna shoot the destroyer that's made his way all the way to the back? And again, you want to play with a throttle on your carrier, making sure it's, you know, not in the worst position, but also not in the very back of the map. Actually, can we get a drop on this DD? I was going to throw these planes back to, uh... No, we're not going to be able to. Let's just go ahead and launch them before they get destroyed. DD anti-aircraft fire isn't, uh... Gonna, isn't going to ruin too many planes, but... Probably going to save my engine cool down there, but... This should hit. I don't know if I let him quite enough. Uh, can we get another drop right away? Nope. I already lost those aircraft. Uh, go. Oh, we got two. There we go. As the DD makes his way in. We're going to go ahead and put our carrier to the right. That's where it looks like a majority of our force is. Autopilot is going to have to be a... It's going to have to make its way into this game. As the only DD worked his way into the base. So, I mean, what do you want me to do, though? It's impossible to hit a destroyer, but we're going to try. I mean, I, I marked him out like three minutes ago to you, but yeah, that's all right. Just leave the carrier back here with a lone destroyer. I'll do it myself, per usual. DDs are definitely uh, the, the hardest target to get here. We'll go ahead and give it our, uh, our try. The old... Uh, I didn't mean to, uh, I didn't mean to send my planes back. We got, that's the problem with dive bombers, and I actually mentioned that in my little synopsis to Wargaming, is 
they're way too hard to hit anything. We were on top of that destroyer. Uh, we let the reticle go down to the very bottom. The 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 line may have been slightly off, um, but even then, we still it wasn't even like it, it just wasn't even close. Let's see if that if we can get lucky with those. Nope. Oh, those other torpedoes almost made it. I didn't lead him enough. Nope. Maybe. Got him. Yeah, there's got to be an autopilot somehow, some way. They got to do it. Let's see if we can rack up a little more damage here in this game. Finish her out. Come on, baby, let's take it home. Coming in now for an attack run. Mom's away. GG. That's a nice little 70k. First game of the day. What do we say? I didn't mean to rhyme so much there. But we'll go to the bay, make things out of clay. What do you say? <laughs>
First on the board in terms of XP, and that's actually the first time I've done that in a carrier thing. 69,000, 9 torpedo hits, 4 bomb hits. As we mentioned in our other video, the Japanese are going to be much better with their torpedoes. As per history, um, they had just the better torpedoes uh, for most of the war. We, we kind of developed some pretty good stuff toward the end, uh, you know, including our... I forget exactly which bomber it was, but it had a closable door, so it didn't, you know... You could get up to pretty high speeds, except for the torpedo run, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken there. Let's go ahead and look at the carrier, though. Um, and again, just pause the screen if you really want to look at the stats. We don't need to make this, the, the video that long of me just talking about the stats. 39,000 hit points. Here are the squadrons. Uh, pretty decent, uh, both of them. Um, now, the dive bombers are a little less accurate, I think, than the Americans, which is, again, kind of historically accurate. Um, but, you know, still got 63% of the fire chance there, which I don't quite see... Let's see, how many bombs did we hit in the last game? First game of the day, huh? Not too bad. Okay, so four bombs hit and only one fire set. So again, I'm not seeing that that fire chance uh, equate to the game. That's all right. We're still getting fires. We're still getting floods, especially if we hit on the bow and the stern and, and places like that. The places without torpedo belts. Uh, you definitely want to beat up on battleships, but but just know that you need to worry about destroyers too. Um, but as I mentioned, destroyers are very difficult to hit. Uh, you saw it, we were right on top of him. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, here we go. The rest of the stats there. There needs to be a pilot. That's my one, uh, you know, kind of complaint to, 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 Wiigi, to Wiigi there, Wargaming, is that there needs to be an autopilot. Um... For the simple fact that you just you're spending half the time, you know, when your aircraft could be in the air, uh, you know, maneuvering and avoiding these bots. Uh, let's go through the upgrades real quick, and then the commander, and that will be the video. This is what we're running, and then here are the upgrades, you know, the that, and then each of the planes. And then the commander. We went for torpedoes. Uh, they're they're going to be your more prominent, uh, you know, threat, just in terms of, of overall damage and or you know potential of flooding. Flooding does uh, more than than fire. Uh, and these are the only perks that really work for now. I'm sure we'll get some complementary aircraft carrier perks. You know, you could put the other commanders when they come out. But this is a brief look at the Ryoju. The tier five American or tier five, the tier five Japanese commander, commander, ca Jesus, aircraft carrier. That's the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just wanted to get that out there again because my other video is kind of screwed up. But I uh, hope you guys uh, like that little quick replay. I'm just getting some some carrier replays in before this event is up, just to maybe save, you know. But uh, hope you guys like that. Uh, a run out. Peace.